everyone so in this video we'll be drawing a city scene and uh, we'll be including all the elements that we commonly see in all the major cities of the world we had a tutorial on village scene earlier where in which somebody requested for the city scene so uh, here we are presenting city scene drawing for you don't forget to subscribe if you're liking our work and uh, leave a comment for what next you want from us all right let's get started i'm dividing the sheet into three parts if you see i have kept my drawing sheet in the vertical position in the standing position and then i'm dividing the sheet into three parts first begin with the bottom most part and over here we are showing traffic which we see in all the metro cities of the world. So here I uh, will try to show different transports. I'm starting with uh, a truck, a loaded truck with a load on its back. So this can be very simply drawn using the geometric shapes. Like this, you can uh, show a big truck uh, carrying goods and then um, I'm showing a car so uh, the car drawing is also very basic now if you focus I'm uh, showing the truck is moving towards the left while the car is moving towards the right okay because uh, we'll be showing two parts of the road okay, one way uh, on uh, left side and the other way towards the other direction then we are drawing here a bus so uh, this can be like a school bus so the bus is also going in the direction same like car and then we are drawing another uh, carrier truck but it's empty so uh, this is this will show another kind of you know transport which is commonly seen on the roads of cities and all these bus truck and uh, car are going on the right direction then I'm drawing a taxi on the other side moving to the left side same like uh, the loaded truck and I have written here taxi also so we know uh, what all transports we have shown now we are uh, drawing the divider of the road to show the two sides and uh, we'll just section it because these are normally painted white and black or yellow and black on different roads we can write school bus here now uh, we are doing the middle section where we'll be drawing all the buildings so we all know in cities there are variety of uh, buildings all the skyscrapers are there beautiful towers are seen residential complexes are there hospitals are there uh, supermarkets are there so we'll try to include them and uh, everything is going to be very crowded so we'll put the buildings very close to each other you can draw a building of any size shape uh, whichever you have seen whichever is there in your city and uh, make it look you know attractive or closely resemble to the city of your residence so in this way I'm also trying to have uh, many buildings one uh, beside the other leaving no gap because cities are known to be crowded so, uh, the buildings are of different unique sizes and shapes so we'll try to uh, show that here as well feel free to use ruler to make these structures look neat okay and then after we are done with the placing all those buildings that we wanted to we'll have some fine details in them okay here i'm adding some street lights so which are uh, evenly placed on the roadside so we are drawing the street lights first and 
and uh, along with the street lights we'll also add some landscaping so you might have noticed they are usually beautifully sculptured uh, trees grown to add to the beauty of the cityscape and uh, that's the reason why we are adding this uniquely shaped uh, tree then we'll begin with adding the fine details within the buildings so you may have doors windows uh, any design as you wish to Alright, so um, we'll add a grocery store, we'll add more details and in this way we are almost done with our buildings and the infrastructure that we wanted to show. Now on the topmost part uh, of our sheet, we are having a flyover. So this flyover we are making to show maybe it can be for metro train or it can be just a, a bridge for ro uh, for vehicles anything but yes we are trying to show that there is a bridge there is a flyover also to control the traffic or to provide an alternate means of transportation so um, in this way you can add bridge if you want you may show a metro train moving on the passing through the bridge also that would really uh, you know give the feel of all the transports that you see in a city but i'm keeping it simple here so i have just shown the bridge without any transport on it So now we'll be showing uh, at the back factories. Now, as we all know, factories are the main reason for the industrialization, for the rise of cities all across the globe. So these factories basically um, uh, we are showing as if they are very far off and uh, we'll show some smoke coming out from them also. We'll also show some more buildings, um, you know, to to give it to give the entire scene a very crowded uh, feel that it's all completely crowded wherever you go, uh, wherever you see around, you will see buildings, you will see vehicles, you will see pollution. That is what cities are all about. So in this way, our scene is complete. This is how it all looks. And you can really see that there is hardly any blank space on the sheet. It is all completely crowded, just like a city. 
the rest of the details will add while we are coloring so stay tuned with me during our coloring section also so uh, let's get started i'll be using uh, pencil colors and crayons mix of them to color uh, the scene so for the vehicles i have used bright colors to uh, color them and uh, the road i have shown in gray the the roadside i have shown in brown yellow uh, the footpath and um, the divider is white and black you can use colors of your choice but you know the common colors like so the taxis are usually yellow and the school bus is yellow so i have kept those colors in place now coming to the buildings again this has to be uh, the brightest section you can do uh, uh, you can color the buildings in colors of your choice make them attractive uh, the windows you see they would be obviously blue uh, showing the effect of glass on them uh, rest of them uh, the tree is going to be in the the colors of green and brown rest you can color as per your choice lastly the top section so after coloring the bridge i have colored the factories and the far buildings in gray and brown and i've shown some smoke also i colored the sky also here light blue and um, that's it it's, it's a very basic coloring that i have used not much of shading not much of uh, texturing it, this is how the scene looks complete because we want to show um, each element clearly rather than you know messing it up so this is a scene to show cities we have done a scene for village earlier and uh, somebody requested for the city scene so here it is for you i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to subscribe take care bye bye